Good morning. The faith I live by, February 26, his gentle, loving care. 1 Peter 5, 7 says, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. The Lord's care is over all his creatures. He loves them all and makes no difference except that he has the most tender pity for those who are called to bear life's heaviest burdens. God's children must meet trials and difficulties, but they should accept their lot with a cheerful spirit, remembering that for all that the world neglects to bestow, God himself will make up to them in the best of favors. It is when we come into difficult places that he reveals his power and wisdom in answer to humble prayer. Have confidence in him as a prayer hearing, prayer answering God. He will reveal himself to you as one who can help in every emergency. He who created man, who gave him his wonderful physical, mental, and spiritual faculties will, will not withhold that which is necessary to sustain the life he has given. He who has given us his word, the leaves of the tree of life, will not withhold from us a knowledge of how to provide food for his needy children. Some are always anticipating evil or magnifying the difficulties that really exist so that their eyes are blinded to the many blessings which demand their gratitude. The obstacles they encounter, instead of leading them to seek help from God, the only source of strength, separate them from him because they awaken unrest and repining. Do we well to be thus unbelieving? Why should we be ungrateful and distrustful? Jesus is our friend. All heaven is interested in our welfare. And our anxiety and fear grieve the Holy Spirit of God. We should not indulge in a solicitude that only frets and wears us, but does not help us to bear trials. He invites the weary and care laden. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Lay off the yoke of anxiety and worldly care that you have placed on your own neck. And take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. Matthew 11, verse 28 and 29. We may find rest and peace in God. Hope you have a great day. Live in faith.